Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's JS Core Dev Team Weekly Sync. Alan is out, um, so I will be hosting today. Do we have a volunteer note taker? Ah, let's make Vashko do it since Jim just did the all hands. All right. Uh, if you haven't already filled out uh, your um, done next and blocked, go ahead and do that on the link sheet. And we will go ahead and kick things off with Volker. Hi. Um, yeah, I was the first one putting into the sheet, so <laughs> I go first. Um, I It was a great week because I finally merged the JS, IP, new JS IPLD API and released a new version. So this took, I think, started in November and now it's merged, so that's great. Um, and what else did I do when I put my window? Um, yeah, so um, other than that, um, there's now an IPLD selectors spec for people who are interested. The short version is it's kind of a way to get multiple blocks from um, IPFS in a, a, with a selector so you can, for example, get a full subgraph or something, something or something like this. But um, if you're interested, just look at the spec. Um, and of course, open issues if you have any, anything to discuss. Um, then um, there's also discussions on the new IPLD format API which is also part of the um, async await um, awesome endeavor. And there is the yeah, ideas for a new version and there's even already an issue open for the version after the next version. Um, and the next thing is, it's more of an announcement that uh, we've moved the um, IPFS block library to IPLD and therefore it's now called JS IPLD block. Um, there's not a release yet, but soon once this PR is merged. And then if you update your dependencies, you would want to switch from JS IPFS block to JS IPLD block. And then you need to make a breaking change on your library. Because if you want to compare blocks, this won't work anymore because they have now a different symbol. So just to um, yeah, let you know that. And other than that, um, I'm not blocked. And for the next week, do I do more work on the IPLD format stuff? And also, I will update the PR for JS IPFS so that it will also use the new JS IPLD API. And then hopefully, we're done with this IPLD API upgrade. That's all I have. Great. Any questions for Volker? All right. Next up, Vashko. Uh, hey guys, so uh, last week uh, I've been mostly out. I've been uh, uh, in Ireland discussing the liberty visualization tool. Basically, uh, what I did regarding that was a product and requirements document uh, with the role. Uh, we also did a, a spreadsheet data model uh, for LibP2P containing all the data that we are able to expose through LibP2P. If anyone of you have interest in that, uh, ping me and I can uh, uh, provide you the link to the spreadsheet in order for you to check or uh, provide feedback. And then uh, we, we had this uh, design workshop with Nearform where we uh, kind of uh, explained everything from uh, lip 2 and uh, what we would like to have in a visualization tool. And we will be uh, working closely with uh, the Nearform guys during the next two weeks. Uh, other than that, uh, mostly, uh, it was about lip 2 interrupt. Uh, I finally got the PR merged to add stream support for the demand client. And today uh, I, I got another PR for the lip 2 interrupt to use the multi other instead of the socket path, which uh, Jacob uh, uh, shipped in the demon last week. Then I did like m mostly reviews uh, for uh, lip 2 uh, I'm still blocked in the interrupt test for the DHT. Uh, basically, because uh, I need to, in, to use the Go daemon to, uh, 
to, uh, to custom the selectors and the validators of the DHD in order to put and get arbitrary keys. Uh, I opened an issue in uh, in Go uh, GoLift to be demon, and I'm waiting for it to get to that merge. So uh, this week I will mostly focus in finishing uh, other interop tests. Uh, the PubSub, uh, uh, it's I just merged it before this call. The the, the PubSub for the demon client, and so uh, there is a, a PR open for the interop PubSub. It just needs to be updated with the Neman client, and hopefully, it will be ready, and uh, we can sh uh, merge it also this week. Then uh, stream interrupt tests as well is the thing that I want to do this week. And uh, in the context of the visualization tool, uh, I will need to work this week in uh, instrumenting the swarm uh, data in order to to collect a bunch of uh, uh, data of a running lib 2 instance in order to provide to the near form guys uh, in, in order to help them with the uh, UI. And uh, then I also need to do the Q1 retro uh, and the Q2 planning this week. That's everything for me. Any questions? No questions, awesome. All right, uh, next up, is it Nitin? Yeah, so it's me. So uh, last week I worked on a couple of things. So I'll uh, just uh, share my screen here. So the uh, I, I changed, uh, I made a PR on IPFS blob store to make it use uh, async await instead of callbacks. So that's one. And second thing, just a minute. So yeah, so, uh, there was this issue that uh, in the exchange files example, uh, it is impossible to guess if there is a room feature, right? So I, I, I made a fix here. So I added uh, added a, a text box and a button. So you can basically join a room now, and then you can add any files, and uh, anyone join, join the same room can get the files. Uh, so, yeah, and I've made a video uh, demo in the pull request. So I've included that in the pull request, how it works. So uh, yeah, these two things. And uh, third thing, so there was a bug in IPFS.DNS. So it was not handling subdomains. So I fixed that. So yeah, that's it. And uh, the, in the next week, I'll be working on uh, a few more repos uh, to make use of async await and uh, remove callback support. Uh, yeah, that's it. Great, that looks awesome. Uh, anybody have any questions for Nitin? All righty. Uh, next up, Zane not attending. Looks like he is continuing to work on the Data store FS, IPFS repo, and data store core. Um, sounds like you should be able to get to those PR comments this week. And then next up, uh, Adam. Hey there, everybody. Um, I'm just sort of new here, but I just wanted to stop by and I have, say hi. Um, I am working on the IPFS migration tool for JS, and uh, I've been working on that the last past week, and we'll be continuing on that next week too. Hi. Fantastic, it's great to have you. Does anybody have any questions about that? Looking forward to having an IPFS repo migration tool for JS. Yes. Cool. Um, and then I skipped myself, so I will guess I will go. Um, so discovered last week doing some uh, testing to add protocols to peer info that switch, the JS lib P2P switch wasn't actually running identify when it's dialing, only when it's listening. Um, so that is gonna be corrected and that will come out with the lib P2P 0.35 release, which I'm hoping to get out um, either tomorrow or Wednesday um, to get Alan unblocked for the JS IPFS release. Um, yeah added a release the dial queue 
um, for JSLoop B2B switch to prevent kind of um, swarm herding at the beginning on startup or when discovering the same peer multiple times. So that should improve. Um, Identify will also now provide the protocol supported and it add it to the peer info instance. So in the peer book now, as we go through and we identify, um, when we connect to peers, we I, I run identify protocol on them, we'll get a list of all the protocols they support, like BitSwap, uh, CAD, everything like that. And that will be stored on the peer info object. So we'll be able to actually do um, some checks prior to actually just dialing blindly to see if people um, support something. Um, yeah, and then worked on Q1 retrospective stuff. This week, I'll be working on Q2 planning, the libp2p035 release, and then I need to finish up getting um, the protocol interop testing going. Uh, we verified that JS is good to go, but we need to verify that the um, identification stuff is working properly between Go and JS. So I'll be working on that this week. Any questions for me? No, looks like, okay. Uh, we have a few other people on the call. Um, anybody want to say hi or want to give an update that hasn't already? Hey, guys. Hey, Yusuf. I'm, I'm Yusuf. I'm just here hanging out for the moment because um, I've been trying to like work on the P2P's documentation story for uh, a little bit now. And I'm still on that, like, as my, you know, primary mission. But part of that is getting up to date on what everybody's working on. So I'm just going to hang out for a bit. In the future, maybe I'll write JavaScript with you guys. I don't know. But, um, but I feel like I'm trying to stay like heads down and like, um, I don't know, eat my vegetables before I get all into the sweet sugar rush of coding. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> anyway. Great. I'm glad to have you. Um, hopefully we can get you writing some JavaScript in the near future, but super uh, appreciative of all the work that you've been doing on the doc stuff. All right. Uh, Michael or Portia, do either of you want to say hi or give an update? We're just hanging out in the background. I don't have anything particular. Okay. Oh, and last, Jim, you have anything? Um, just been working on PeerPad and hoping to get the, uh, the, the the version that's out there released this week. And uh, maybe I'll do some more GS IPFS stuff in the coming weeks. Great. Um, for Alan, I don't know what he's working on in total, but I know that he's going to try to get the um, JS IPFS release out uh, later this week. I think they're, uh, the GUI is having their uh, offsite this week for the first part of the week. So hopefully I can get him unblocked with libp2p and then he can get that out the door later this week. Um, if nobody has anything else, I think we can finish up early. All right, we will see everybody next week. Bye, all.